Hi guys, I am Tejesh. Today we are going to learn about length of tangents and some other important concepts of a circle. First, length of the tangents means in previous video we discussed about tangents, equation of tangents and length of and pair of tangents, equations for pair of tangents of a circle. Today we are going to discuss about length of the tangent. Now let this be the circle. The equation of the circle be first the theorem is the length of the tangent from point P x1 comma y1 as you can see in this picture P x1 comma y1 to the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. As you can see, this is the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 and is equal to the length of the tangent from point P to this circle is equal to square root of x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c is equal to square root of s1 where s is the equation of the circle and s1 means the equation of the the value we got by substituting the values of x1 and y1 to the equation of the circle. As you can see, this is the picture. Now, proof. Let pt and pt dash be the tangents from the given point p x1 comma y1 to the circle x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now, if this is the equation of the circle, or it is a general form of general equation of a circle then the center of that circle is minus g comma minus f so the center is minus g comma minus f and radius is the formula for radius is okay now here radius means we should take t ct or ct dash right in this case let's take ct we can take anything the result will be the same ct is square root of g square plus f square minus c this is the formula for radius of a circle now in this picture we know that ptc is a right angle triangle right from that cp is the hypotenuse hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of the sides right so pt square plus ct square now what is the length of pt that is our required length right so pt square is equal to cp square minus ct square P, pt square is equal to cp square minus ct square now what is the what is cp cp is the distance between minus g comma minus f to x1 comma y1 we know the distance formula right square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right in this case, let us take this as x2, p x1 comma y1 as x2 comma y2 and c as x1 comma y1. So it is x2 minus x1, right? Means x1 minus minus g, minus of minus g, minus into minus becomes positive. So it is x1 plus g whole square plus y1 plus f whole square square root of x1 plus g whole square plus y1 plus f whole square now here we need cp square right means the square root cancels out so we'll get x1 plus g whole square plus y1 plus f whole square minus ct square we know what is ct right it is square root of g square plus f square minus c whole square means square and root cancels out again now if you expand this then what would we get we'll get x1 x1 square plus g g square x1 square plus g square from the formula a square plus b square a plus b whole square this is a square plus b square plus 2ab right x1 square plus g square plus 2g x1 plus y1 square plus f square plus 2g y1 2f y1 and here you will get minus g square plus f square minus c means here you have one negative g square here one positive g square it cancels so i'll get x1 square plus here also f square cancels 
x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2f y1 and this c plus c. That is the formula for pt square. So pt is so the pt. The formula for pt is square root of x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c. This is the length of the tangent. And if pt is the length of the tangent from p to the given circle, then pt square is called power of the point with respect to the given circle. Power of the point. pt square is called power of the point. Okay, now. If we write S as x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c, then Px, the length of the tangent from circle to Px1 comma y1 is square root of S1, root S1, where S1 means substituting x1 and y1 in place of x and y in the equation S. And the power of the point is S1. Now, in order to obtain the length of the tangent to Using this formula is, it is an algorithm, obtain the equation of the circle and the given point, x1, y1. Obtain the equation of the circle and the given point. It is given, it will be given in the problem question only, right? And shift all terms on one side and introduce zero to the right hand side of the given equation. We should change the given equation in such a way that the RHS or the right hand side should have 0 and make the coefficients of x square and y square unity. If they are not, divide the both sides by any constant number and replace x by x1 and y by y1 on in the left hand side of the equation in step 3. In step 3, we got equation right. Substitute x1 in place of x and y1 in place of y. And take the square root of number obtained in the above step or step 4. The number obtained is the length of the tangent. If you want the power of the tangent, square it again. Now let's see another concept called as director circle. Director circle. The director circle means the locus of the point of the locus of the point of intersection of the two perpendicular tangents to a given conic is known as the director circle. Okay, here the words which we don't know are conic. What is mean by conic? Conic means the functions derived from the cone or they are circle, parabola, ellipse and hyperbola. Circle is a conic because if we cut conic, if we cut conic, what if we cut the conic horizontally, then we will get a circle and ellipse. If you cut the conic in some angle, not horizontal or not vertical, then you will get, then you will get ellipse means if we cut that in some bend shape. Parabola, to get a parabola, we should also cut that in some other angle. And to get hyperbola, we should cut that vertically. Okay, now, the locus of the point of intersection of perpendicular tangents to a given circle, means the tangent should be perpendicular, 90 degrees, to a given conic. And the equation of such point is called as director circle. Now let's see the theorem. The equation of the director circle of a circle x square plus y square is equal to a square is x square plus y square is equal to 2a square. Now we should prove that. Let's see how to prove that. For proving this. Let take let us imagine that the point h comma k is the point of perpendicular tangent to the circle. Means the point through which the perpendicular tangents are drawn to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square. And 
the equation of any circle to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square is y is equal to mx plus a root 1 plus m square, right? That is the equation of the tangent. We discussed this in previous videos. The equation of the tangent is y is equal to mx plus or minus a root 1 plus m square. In this case, let's take only m. When m is the slope of the tangent, it passes through h comma k, right? Where h comma k is the point of intersection of tangent, means all the tangent pass through that point. Then, k is equal to, means the y value, k is equal to m into m is the slope into the x value, h plus a root 1 plus m square. a root 1 plus m square. Now, if we send mh to the other side, then it is k minus mh is equal to a root 1 plus m square. If we square on both sides, you will get k minus mh whole square is equal to a square times 1 plus m square. Now, if you simplify this, you will get m square into h square minus a square minus 2mhk plus k square minus a square is equal to 0. Now, if you want, you can see from where this all came. First, m square into h square. m square into h square came from here, right? If we square this, we use a minus b whole square formula, so we will get m square into h square. And here, m square into a square. And minus 2mhk, 2mhk, it is the minus 2a bit term in this equation. Plus here you will have a square, here k square. So k square minus a square is equal to 0. Now, this equation gives two values of m, right? We have two values of m. Those are m1 and m2. And each value for each value of m there is a tangent passing through h comma k right there will be two tangent passing through a particular point right and now we have or in another words there is no need to solve because this is a quadratic equation right so it will have two now this is a quadratic equation let the roots the roots are we discussed that m1 and m2 the roots are m1 and m2 so here m1 plus m2 is minus b by a term, right? So it is 2m, 2hk by h square minus a square, 2hk by h square minus a square. And the product of the roots m1 times m2 is k square minus a square by h square minus a square. k square minus a square by h square minus a square. Now the tangents are perpendicular, right? Means the product of the slopes is negative 1 means m1 times m2 is negative 1 means k square minus a square by h square minus a square is negative 1 right that means that if we send h square minus a square to the other side then it becomes it will be multiplied by negative 1 right means it is a square minus h square if h square comes to this side and the negative a square goes to the other side, then you will get h square plus k square is equal to 2a square. This is the locus of h comma k, right? Is x square plus y square is equal to 2a square. Since h comma k is the point and the point is nothing but x comma y. Thus the director circle to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square is x square plus y square is equal to 2a square. And if you observe carefully, this is the circle with same center and with the radius of 2 times the rad root 2 times the radius of the given circle, right? Because 2a square means it is root 2a whole square. And here root 2a means it is the radius of the circle. We know that. Or if you want to prove it in another way, the combined equation of the tangent drawn from h comma k to x square plus y square plus is equal to a square is s s dash is equal to t square. Means x square plus y square minus a square into h square plus k square minus a square is equal to hx plus ky minus a square whole square. This equation will represent a pair of perpendicular lines. If coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is equal to 0, right? 
that is the only case for representing the perpendicular lines so it is h square plus k square minus a square minus h square plus h square plus k square minus a square minus k square is equal to 0 and if you simplify that you will get h square plus k square is equal to 2 a square this is the locus of which comma k so the equation of the second is s square plus y square is equal to 2 a square now let's see chord of contact chord of contact in previous section we discussed that two tangents can be drawn from external point to the to a given circle right and the chord joining the points of contact of the two tangent is of special interest in this section we will discuss about that chord the chord of contact mean the chord joining the point of contact we know what is point of contact right point of contact of two tangents to a conic we know what are conic sections the point of contact of two tangents to a conic means there are two tangents and their intersection to the conic drawn from a given point outside it because we can't draw tangents from we can't draw two tangents if the point is on the circle or inside the circle and the chord which joins the points of contact of two tangents to the given conic is called as chord of contact of tangents now theorem the theorem is that first if you observe this is the circle and the two tangents are pt and pt dash from the point t x1 comma y1 and as you can see the chord tt dash is the chord of contact now the theorem is the equation of the chord of contact of tangents drawn from point p x1 comma y1 of the point from the point x1 comma y1 to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square is so those points lie on the line x x1 plus y y1 is equal to a square so the equation of t t dash or the chord of contact is x x1 plus y y1 is equal to a square now note the equation of the chord of contact is the same same form as the equation of the tangent if the point x1 comma y1 lie on the conic right the point x1 comma y1 lie on the conic then the equation is x x1 plus y y1 is equal to a square it is same as this and the equation of chord of contact or tangent drawn at point x1 comma y1 to the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 or the general equation of the circle is x x1 plus y y1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y minus y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. We should replace x square with x x1 and y square with y y1 and x with x plus x1 and y with y plus y1. Now let's see an example on this. The example is a point moves in such a way if there is a point which is moving in such a way the square of the length of the tangent drawn from it to the circle the square of the length of the tangent drawn from the point to the circle x square plus y square is equal to 25 is 5 times its distance from the line 3x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0. Means there is a point, let it be p, k, h, k or x, y. Let the point be x, y, p, x, y. Or let us imagine it as x1, y1. And the length, the square of the length of the tangent drawn from it to the circle. Means a tangent is drawn from that point to the circle x square plus y square is equal to 25. And the square of that length of the tangent, the square of the length of the tangent is 5 times the distance between that point p x1 comma y1 to the equation 3x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0. It is the equation of a straight line. Now here the distance to this straight line means that the perpendicular distance. Now we should find the equation of locus of that particular point. 
Now, the equation of circle is x square plus y square minus 25 is equal to 0. And the point is x comma y. Or let us imagine it as x1 comma y1. Because if we take x comma y, both of these are the same. Now, the length of the tangent from P to the circle, or let it be PT, is equal to square root of x1 square plus y1 square minus 25, right? We know this is the length of the tangent. And this is equal to square root of x1 is x and y1 is y. Means it is x square plus y square minus 25. And the distance between that point to the line is the formula for the perpendicular distance is modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c by square root of a square plus b square. I hope you know this formula. Or it is ax plus by plus c modulus of ax plus by plus c by square root of a square plus b square because x1 is x and y1 is y. And substitute the values of a, b and c also. The value of a is, the equation is 3x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0, right? It means the value of a is 3 and b is 4 and c is negative 8. So it is modulus of 3x plus 4y minus 8 by square root of 3 square plus 4 square. Or it is modulus 3x plus 4y minus 8 by square root of 25 which is nothing but 5. Let it be the length p l now and by the problem it is clear that p t square is equal to 5 p l right now the equation of p t is square root of x square plus y square minus 25 and we should square that is equal to 5 times the equation of p l is modulus 3x plus 4y minus 8 by 5 now 5 and 5 cancels out and here square and root cancels out so you will get x square plus y square minus 25 is equal to modulus 3x plus 4y minus 8. And here you have modulus values. Means you can have the values of. Okay now modulus of 3x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to x square plus y square minus 25. Now. If the value of 3x plus 4y minus 8 is negative, negative x squared plus y squared minus 25, but the result will be the same, x squared plus y squared minus 25, even if it is the negative of this, or if it is the positive of this, the result will be the same. That means this may be negative or positive if you take off the modulus. Means positive or negative or plus or minus, x squared plus y squared minus 25 is equal to 3x plus 4y minus 8. Now, now, x squared plus y squared minus 25, the positive of it may be th is 3x plus 4y minus 8 or 3x plus 4y minus 8 is negative of x squared plus y squared minus 25, right? That means x squared plus y squared and if this 3x comes to this side it is negative 3x and 4y comes to this side it is negative 4y. Here you have negative 25 and if this minus 8 comes to this side it becomes plus 8. Minus 25 plus 8 is minus 17 is equal to 0. And that means x squared plus y squared minus 3x minus 4y minus 17 is equal to 0. No need to divide that. Let us leave it there. This is the first equation or the other equation is 3x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to minus of that, right? So it is negative x square. If it comes to this side, it becomes x square plus y square plus 3x plus 4y. And here you have minus 8 and minus 25 comes to this side. So it is minus 33 is equal to 0.